Welcome back. It started out as a Facebook post, but his editor, Angus Scott, convinced John Law that it needed to be in the newspaper. The Niagara Dailies ran the story of John Law, Niagara Falls Review reporter, and his struggle against COVID-19 beginning on New Year's Day. John Law joins us now. It's evident in our preamble before we went to record this segment that you are still struggling with the ravages of COVID-19. Yeah, well, you know, it's um, it's one of those things where you 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 get intensely uh, ill and uncomfortable for a few days, and uh, same with my wife. And uh, after a while, uh, you know, the physical illness goes away, but you have this kind of uh, these uh, after effects or the or these symptoms that just stick with you. They, they feel like they've attached to you for a while. And, you know, I've had some friends reach out and say, uh, you know, some of these things can last uh, weeks or, or even months. Uh, I just read one story, one lady has been dealing with it for 10 months, which, which is not what I wanted to read, but uh, it, it's just uh, it, the, the one takeaway I'm getting from this is that it affects it seems to affect everybody uh, differently. Some people have no symptoms at all. They get through it like a breeze. Other people uh, are, are struggling with it for months and other people, uh, as you know, don't make it, so. We're now 11 months almost into this virus and we know a lot more about it than we did back in March. But still, there are all these uncertainties. You're talking about something you read this weekend. I read something that's still speculating that they don't know how many of the symptoms might end up being permanent for some people and why right. they would be permanent for, for some and not for others. Yeah, I know. It, it's high, and that's the scary part. I mean, with a cold, with a flu, you basically know what to do to get through it. Uh, you know what you need to, you, you know, the steps you have to take to get past it and, you know, get your get things back in order with this, uh, you know, people don't know, people don't know what they're going to be doing a month from now. Uh, they, 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 it's unpredictable uh, and it's uh, an unstable feeling sometimes. That's the best way I can describe it to people. You, you, you don't feel stable. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I do. Well, At what point did you know that you had to go public with your story to share it first on Facebook and then in the newspapers? Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where it's like other things. You can read about something and you can see that, see it on the news, but you know, if you don't know anybody who has it, especially this thing, you can almost tune it out. You can almost, uh, act like it's not really affecting you or anybody, you know, but, uh, uh, so I thought, you know, I'm reading too much stuff of people who are just brushing this off. Uh, they think it won't hit them. It won't affect them. Or in worst case scenarios, they think it doesn't even exist still. They're still calling it a cold or a flu. And it just drove me nuts. I just wanted people to, uh, uh, to pause and think for a bit before, you know, they let that way of thinking take over. It was, it, it, it can get you so easily if you let your guard down. And I didn't let my guard down and it still found a way uh, to, 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 to attack me. So people who, who, who think they're immune to this or they can coast through it and, and just breeze through it, it can get you in a variety of different ways, but being careless, being careless is the easiest way it will get you. No question. You've had a lot of feedback on your Facebook page. You and I are Facebook friends. And I think we share a few friends who are conspiracy theorists as well. And, you know, we've, we've had to listen to some of the things that they've said via their Facebook pages. But you've had a lot of good feedback from people sharing their stories with you after hearing yours. Yeah, I got, uh, excuse <coughs> sorry, over the weekend, I got a lot of emails from people um, a lot of people I didn't know, they, they just read the article and, and felt like emailing me. A couple of them were uh, really devastating. Uh, one guy who lost both his parents and, and then he and a, his wife, or he, he got sick. I think he said his wife uh, managed to avoid it. 
and that was all in the span of a couple of weeks. I mean, that, that was just devastating to read. Another guy, uh, you know, he, he got hit hard, and he he just felt so alone. He he didn't know, he he didn't know who to talk to or what to do. It, it was just, I he, it was a feeling of isolation for him. He, he it was just. I mean, this is bad enough. At least I got some support, but to deal with that on on your own. Uh, Man, I felt for that guy. Speaking of your support, how is Brenda doing? She's doing all right. Uh, you know, she bounced back. She's still a few symptoms, but she's uh, doing all right right now. She got more sick than me at at its peak, uh, but then she's, she recovered. And, uh, you know, she's still not 100%, but she's doing better than I am at the moment. It's, it's like I described to her, like we were here at one point. She She went up here. And then she came back down fairly quickly, whereas I just kind of stayed the same same way for the last few weeks, you know? It must be really frustrating, really difficult. I know you're still writing articles for the newspapers, trying to manage that while this is obviously taking so much uh, energy, mm -hmm. just sapping you of your energy. How are you managing that? Well, yeah, that's the thing uh, that I read and, uh, I kind of anticipated it, but it's hard to describe it until it hits you. The, the fatigue, when it hits you, uh, you're almost incapacitated you, and uh, you can barely think straight sometimes. So that's a struggle one in a, in a job where you're, you got to form sentences in your head, you know. But uh, my editor is understanding, you know, he's, he's telling me to take as much time as I need, but, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to get too rusty in this. I, I want to try to keep uh, keep keep working and keep uh, keep telling stories. So thank you so much for sharing your struggle uh, with all of Niagara. We really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks, John. All right. All right. Take care, Mike.